So which row is better on these coasters at the Alton Towers Resort and Spa? The front or the back? Today I'm going to decide which row is the best for all of the coasters at the park and I'm going to be using this wheel to randomly pick the rides. So let's give it a spin. Like most coasters, the back definitely has more forces and you get whipped through the elements a little more. But with flying coasters, visibility is always one of the most important factors and that's why I'm going to pick the front row for that unobstructed view as you glide around the layout. The Runaway Mine Train is a bit of a hard one as there really isn't much of a difference between the front and the back row on this ride, but I'd probably still take the back as you might get pulled down that curved drop into the tunnel a little faster as the front of the train is already midway down it, and you also get a much better view of the surroundings as the front row has the locomotive in the way. Rita is easily a front row ride for the excellent view down the launch track and the smoothness and on top of that you get a much better sense of speed at the front as you traverse through its high speed turns. It's just a shame the ride is so short. I'm just going to go with the back row for this one as like the runaway mine train at the back you don't have anything directly in front of you. Oblivion only has two rows but I'd still go for the very front as you get a more daunting view as you're held over the 87.5 degree drop. Oblivion, the world's first vertical drop roller coaster. Well, not quite. Wickerman is a back row ride as it feels out of control when you get pulled over the airtime hills more violently, and you also get more lateral forces on the S bends and turns, throwing you from side to side. Sitting at the back makes the ride seem less like a family coaster. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this, but let's spin the wheel and see what we get next. 13 is one of the harder ones on this list as you do get stronger airtime on the first drop in the back, but at the front you get a better view when entering and exiting the crypt. That being said, I would still take the back row as the airtime is a little stronger at the start of the ride. There would be even more of a difference if there was no trim midway down the first drop, but... Okay, so Spimble Wizard, an interesting one to say the least, but I'd probably say it's better to start facing backwards as then it's harder to know when the first drop is coming. Now I do love a good intense ride, so I would for sure take the back row. On the back row you really get tossed through some of the elements, such as the incredibly forceful downwards helix and the zero G roll. Okay, so we are left with the Smiler, and the front row on this ride is so much smoother, and you also get a better view of all of its 14 inversions. And as the train is quite short, the difference between the intensity at the back compared to the front isn't enough for the difference to make it a back row ride. But what are your favourite rows on the coasters at Alton Towers? Be sure to leave your thoughts down below. But that's it for this video, thanks loads for watching, and I'll see you next time.